you want to know how to exit your Gnosis Validator. So if you guys didn't know, I actually have four Gnosis Validator. And in this video, I'm gonna exit only one of them. I do have a DAP node, so that's the method I'm gonna be using. However, the method's gonna be similar even if you don't have a DAP node. So the first thing you're gonna to want to do is head on over to this article that I'll have linked in the description that tells you how to voluntarily exit your DAP node. So you may want to do this because the uh, price of Gnosis has risen and you finally want to withdraw those funds and uh, do something else with them. So for example, I wanna buy a different D-pin device. I don't know which yet, so let me know in the comments down below what I should buy. So another thing to also keep in mind is that to completely exit the validator does take between 24 and 48 hours. So definitely keep in mind, you're not gonna be able to sell everything right away. So the first thing you want to do is uh, probably claim your rewards just so that way you don't have any unclaimed rewards sitting there um so do that real quickly i have a video about it if you would like to see more instructions about that but let's go ahead and uh, move on to the next step which is going to be how to voluntarily exit and in this case i have the dap node and like i was saying this link will show you how to do it with everything else as well it will be similar to what i'm showcasing anyways we are actually going to open up this document because it's going to be a little bit easier to digest for uh, dap node runners but let's go ahead and move on over to our dap node and make sure that our address starts with an o1 because it's a danger notification so let's go take a look at that so i'm over here i'm using lighthouse you probably use something else something gnosis it should say Let's go ahead and open that up. Go ahead and hit UI and then take a look at what we have here. Do not exit the validator yet. That's a bad idea. Go ahead and take your address here and copy it. And then go back over to the article and then go to the consensus explorer. From here, what you need to do is paste in your public address and then scroll on down to the wallet icon and make sure that this says x01 and i believe but you may want to contact gnosis the discord will be linked in the description i believe 0x3d is also okay to go ahead and do but if this says 0x00 then you have an issue and you will need to follow further instructions which you will find if you click right here and it'll give you a step-by-step -step tutorial. If you would like to see a video about this in the future, let me know in the comments down below. However, I believe that just joining the Gnosis Discord, they'll be able to help you out with any questions you have. So I've gone ahead and confirmed that I have a 0x01 on all four of my validators. So now what I need to do is to decide which of these I would like to exit. I do not wanna exit all of them, but I am going to go through and select which one I do indeed want to exit. Last month, I learned that one of my Gnosis nodes that were actually losing money. So you can see right here, I actually lost money. So that's the one that I'm going to be exiting. Um, not entirely sure why that one lost money while the other ones were still making money. And if you guys would like to see how much money I actually make with different D-pin devices and other passive income uh, options that I have available in the crypto space, then definitely join my live stream, which I do the first Saturday of every month. So uh, would love to see you there. And you guys can ask me questions live about my experience with these different crypto devices. Anyways, let's get back to the videos. So now that I've selected which one I'm gonna get rid of, let's head back over to the uh, UI in my DAP node of my Gnosis validators. Let's go ahead and select it. And then we are going to select exit validator. So let's go ahead and do that now. And now what you need to do is write that yes, indeed, you are exiting in this validator. It is going to put it on the blockchain and it will be permanent, irreversible. You would have to start a brand new uh, validator if for some reason you would like to start a new one again. So before I actually uh, write that down, I just want to mention that in some articles that may mention something about a partial or full withdrawal, all that means is a partial withdrawal would be you claiming your rewards and a full withdrawal would mean that you're withdrawing all of it. Because remember, you have to maintain at least one Gnosis in your validator 
in order for your validator to still be valid and online. So now that you know that, let's go ahead and say, I want to exit and then hit enter. There you go. It is successfully exited. And now it's going to take between 24 and 48 hours to fully exit. So in order to track where you are in the process of exiting your validator, you'll need to go back to the consensus explorer, put in the address again for the validator that you just exited. And then after about 10 minutes, you can refresh the page and it should say that this validator has exited the system and it'll say what block you have started exiting on and then what block will be the final block that needs to be finished before your validator will be actually officially exited and you can claim the reward. So what you can do is take the block that you are going to exit on and then you can compare it to the current block that we are on right now and you can do a little math if you want but just know it's going to take about one or two days to fully exit the blockchain and then after that you can claim your reward so uh, i'll see you guys here in one or two days okay so you can see here that my validator has officially been exited and it's after the number that's up here and that means that we are now able to go ahead and claim everything that was in that validator which should be one nasus token so in order to do that, go ahead and go to the article that I put linked in the description, go to the DAP node docs, and then down here, you'll click this link right here, which is the contract page. From here, you want to click write as proxy and connect the web three. Go ahead and connect your wallet. Go ahead and also make sure that you are on the Gnosis blockchain. And then copy and paste your MetaMask wallet where you would like the coins. And then write. Go ahead and confirm the transaction. Make sure everything looks good. If you want, you can click view transaction. You'll see that it's indexing. Maybe in 15 minutes, you'll be able to see that one Gnosis in your actual wallet. And there you have it. You can see I have a one Gnosis now in my account. And now if you would like to turn this into cash in your bank account or something like that, then I have a video already made for you. Check out this video. You can now do whatever you would like with this Gnosis coin. And if you wanted to, you could uninstall the Gnosis validator from your DAP node. Anyways, guys, hope you have a wonderful day. And as always, guys, stay safe, trade safe, and God bless. Peace. So now I'm going to be sending. So now we're going to be. What was I doing?